Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Today we're looking at verses 90 and 91 in the Lamed division of Psalm 119. And again, we have this idea of the foreverness. Can I use it? Can I say that? The foreverness, the eternity, the eternality of God's word and its security. Maybe I should have said the prime word in this uh, division is the word stand because we have it in verse 89. We have it again in 90 and then again in 91. So we're going to see it twice again today. This word, this idea of it standing or being settled that it's forever there. So let me uh, just read for us here, 90 and 91. For generations, you are faithful. You establish the earth and it stands. For your judgments stand today. For all things are your servants. Amen. So here we have um, the idea of the foreverness, the eternality of God's word for generation and generation. That's the way the Hebrew approaches this. For generation and generation. For generations, we can say. Um, the King James has, Thy faithfulness is unto all generations. That's good. The word all does not appear, but the idea is there. It's every generation from one to another. There's no generation in which God is not faithful. You know, there's a great hymn in the, in the Baptist hymnal, and it's not just for Baptists, but it's, you know, a hymn that so many people know, and it's, Great is Thy Faithfulness. And the first line goes like this, Great is Thy Faithfulness, O God my Father, there is no shadow of turning with thee. There's that idea of it standing. It's never, he never changes. Thou changest not. Thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever wilt be. For generations you are faithful, the psalmist writes. You establish the earth and it stands. So the word of God stands in heaven. The earth is fixed and stands. It's not going to be moved either. Because God has fixed it. He has made it settled. He has set, he, it stands because of his command. In verse 91, For your judgments stand today. Here is our, the word again. Judgments. So we have the word stands in the heavens in verse 89. And then in 91, For your judgments stand today. For all things are your servants. So again, the word stand is here. So the word stands in the heavens, the earth stands because God has established it, he has settled it or fixed it in place, and the judgments of God stand, again going back to the word of God. So we double up on this idea that the word of God is eternal. It's forever. <clears throat> for, and we have that little key clause there in 91, for all things are your servants. There is nothing that does not serve God. All are thy servants. So everything serves him. Nothing is doing its own thing, running around. Well, I mean, we might think that, but it's really not the case. God is in command of all. He is king over all the earth. He is good and he is righteous and he is overseeing all things to his own glory and for the benefit of his church. So generation... For generation and generation, you are faithful. God's faithfulness, friend, is true. Now, how do we apply that? Well, because he's faithful, that means that he keeps his word. He's faithful to keep the promises that he's made. And he's made certain promises to men that if they would just believe, if they would apply faith and believe those promises, they would see God show mercy to them. God has made those promises, and he is faithful to keep those promises. Just as the earth is established and stands, so is God faithful to keep his word. Join me again tomorrow. We're going to look at verses 92 and 93 here on Daily Dose Radio. 
Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.